Sehingga ini tafara mana bilet Tafari yake ya miso ya mna yake
Amor 
na ametenda matendo yote ya kanisa hata hii society tunafanya yeye ni 0240 Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo Sami ametenda kazi yake ulimwenguni kazi yake imekamilika nasi ambayo tumewachwa tunahitaji kujipatia moyo ya kwamba tukitenda matendo mema tutakaa pamoja na Mwenyezi Mungu tukutane na wale ambao wameenda mbele yetu kwa hivyo Mungu wa amani awe nami tunapoendelea kukamilisha uh, safari hii Bwana ziviwe Bwana pewe sifa Nafikiri sina neno ambalo nitasema sana kuhusu marehemu Maana marehemu nilipoenda kwa kanisa la Atriva alikuwa mmoja wa wale walionikaribisha kwa moyo mkunjuvu atulifanya naye kazi ya kututolea kila kurudi nyuma si kumpata na neno lolote amesema hivi amefanya hivi nilifanya naye kazi njema na kitu ilipokuwa ya ajabu ilikuwa wakati mmoja the right bishop alipotembelea driver tulikaa na akasema angependa kanisa liende kutengera na akasema na isichukue muda sana niende nifikie mmeangisha kanisa kutengera so marehemu sana uzore nilipomuuliza alikuwa mwepezi wa kusema ametoa room katika nyumba yake tuanzie kanisa hapo so kanisa la kitengera ilianzia hapo na mambo mengi ametenda kuhusu plot za makanisa kupata vita za kwenda kwa hiyo hii ni mengine nimefika hapo Mungu awabariki sana munduka ende salama mame akuje watunguke jeneza tufanye haraka Watu wengine wote waingie ndani wabakie kule kwaya na wapongoza msafara. Watu wengine tafadhali ingieni mketi. Watu wengine wale wako nje hamutaingia saa ambao msafara unaingia tafadhali. Hautaruhusiwa. Watu wengine ambao sio sio kwaya na sio msafara tafadhali Mwingie ndani mketi wachungaji wakuja wakalie kwa hizi benje za mbele wachungaji benje zenyu ziko hapa mbele na msikanyaga hapa katikati tafadhali pite kando kando
Sasa ningesema hivi tutabaki nje na kwaya peke yake na waliofiwa wengine wote tuwe ndani. Wengine wote tuwe ndani. Kama wewe si mwana kwaya wewe si mmoja waliofiwa safari ya kuingia ndani na wale tutasaidiana kupepa mwili pia mtapaki nje Tulete mwili paka hapa tuanzie hapo. Tutakuwa mbele mwili uvate waliovyo wafate alafu wengine kama wako huku. Lete tu hiyo meza hapa, lete hiyo meza hapa. Kuja na hii. Welcome. Napoomba walio vyo wawe karibu Ndiyo watafata muhiri Tukiingia na kwa ukiimba Kwa maana tumechelewa tutakuwa kidoko haraka Bwana ndiye mtungaji wangu Sita pungukiwa na kitu Katika malisho ya majani mapichi Umiraza kando ya maji ya utulivu uniongoza uniuisha nafsi yangu 
na kuniongoza katika njia ya haki kwa ajili ya jina lake naam nitapopita kati ya ponde la mauti sitaokopa mabaya kwa maana wewe upo pamoja nami kongo lako na fimbo yako yani varid waandaa meza mbele yangu majoni pa watezi wangu umenipaka mafuta kinywani pangu na kikombe changu kinafurika hakika wema na badili sitapatana siku zote za maisha yangu nami nitakaa nyumbani mapana ni wewe baba mfalme katika jina la Kristo hapa tuko na mimi ambapo hapa ndio ni kifara kuongeza katika nyumba yako tunaomba Yesu utukufu wa Bwana uandamane nasi tuendelee kuwapa nguvu na usii wa mokozi kwa ajili ya ibada hii basi tukae tukane tunapo anza hadi mwisho kwa Yesu Kristo tunaomba hata na kuamini amen waya na tukijipanga tunasema kifungu tafadhali kwa haya tunaomba Bwana ni nani atakayekaa katika hema lako ni nani atakayefanya maskani yake katika kilima chako kitakatifu ni mtu aendaye kwa ukamilifu na kutenda haki asamae kweli kwa moyo wake asiyesingizia kwa ulimi wake wala hakumtenda mwenziwe mabaya wala hakusengenya jirani yake machoni pake mtu asiyefaa udharauliwa bali waheshimu wa mtao bwana ingawa ameapa kwa hasara yake hayabadili haya maneno yake hakutoa fedha yake apate kula riba hakutoa rushwa akamwangamiza asiye na hatia 
mtu atendayo mambo hayo hataondoshwa milele waya kwa haya tunaomba heri mtu yule asiye kwenda katika shauri la wasio na haki wala hakusimama katikati ya njia ya wakosaji wala hakuketi barazani pa wenye mizara bali sheria ya Bwana ndio impendezayo na sheria yake utafakari mchana na usiku naye atakuwa kama mti uliopandwa kando kando ya biji, ya vijito vya maji mzaa matunda yake kwa majani yake wala jani lake halinyawiki na kila akipendacho atajifungusha baba katika jina la mwanao Yesu Kristo tunakushukuru leo tunasema ni asante Asante mfalme wa jabu andiko limepita Bwana halilie mbele yetu mikononi mwako na ni kwa jina safi Yesu Kristo aliye mkombozi wetu. Kwaya Tunazoma tunazoma Na tunasoma And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall wake some to everlasting life and some to, to shame and everlasting contempt And they that be wise shall, shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Tuombe. Baba, tuazema ni asante kwa neemo metupa siku ya leo. Na tunauliza tu endeleo kufariji na utuinue na ubariki familia wakati huu jina lako litukuzwe na linuliwe na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba amen kwaya
kwaya tukuene na vazi Iimbe tukichukua na vazi Lakini nduku hatutaki mzijue habari zao walio lala mauti mzide mkahuzunika kama wengine wasio na matumaini maana ikiwa tuamini kwamba Yesu alikufa kavuvuka hivyo hivyo nao walio lala katika Kristo Mungu atawalete pamoja naye kwa kuwa tuambieni haya kwa neno la Bwana sisi tulio hai tutakakoza tutakapozalia hata kuja kwake Bwana hakika hatutawatangulia wao <coughs> walio kuja <coughs> kulala mauti kwa sababu mwenyewe atashuka kutoka mbinguni pamoja na mwaliko na sauti ya mwaliko mkuu na parapanda ya Mungu hayo hao waliokuwa katika Kristo watavuvuliwa kwanza kisha sisi tulio hai tutakakozaliwa tuta tutanyakuliwa tuta nyali, tuta katika mawingu ili tumlaje Bwana hewani na hiyo tutakuwa pamoja na Bwana ni wewe basi tarajianeni kwa maneno tarajianeni kwa maneno hayo Baba mkombozi falme mwema mlinzi mkuu umeinuliwa zaidi katika enzi yako neno lako limeendelea kutupa tumaini na nguvu mpya na hata kutukumbusha jinsi maisha yetu ilivyo na hata mwisho wake jinsi itakavyokuwa Asante Yesu maana unatujali mno jina lako litukuzwe na liheshimiwe tunapoendelea kukaa katika utukufu wako roho bwana ukichukua ushukani in the name of the father son and the holy spirit we pray Yesu akawaambia mimi ndimi huo ufufuo na uzima yeye yeah, aniaminie mimi itapokuva atakuwa naishi naye kila aishie na kuniamini hata kufa kabisa hata milele je mnazatiki hayo baba katika jina la Yesu ni wakati huu mwema tena ambao umetuwezeshea wewe Mungu wetu muumba wetu kumleta nduku wetu mapaki yake katika makanisa ambayo yalikuwa na hudumu 
katika kanisa ambalo alikuwa siomba kutoa heshima yetu ya mwisho katika kanisa hili baba uwe na wote ambao wanashukulikia ibada hii na yote wale ambao wameshukulikia ninasema ni asande si tikuwa nasi kwa vibindi vilivyopaki na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo naomba nikiamini kwa
Thank you, Sasha, my friend. Hello, Sasha, my friend. I'm going to talk to you about the friends. I'm going to talk to you about the friends. Mio Fernanda, che è un'altra in questo mondo, ma da bravo mi ha fatto il suo, o mio figlio, qua è il vero, che è un modo di un altro per farci un altro, o me ne vai di un'altra nella famiglia, non mi dando. Non mi dando appena, vanno in questa figlia, vanno in questa figlia, come una mia figlia, mi prendi un mucolo, mi comanda i zombie, il sangue, andava a oggi che beve un mucolo, alleluia! Tutta inda inda namba na inda sikh. Wale wako na injiri na inda sikh. Kwa haya munisaidia na hizo ngoma na ndugu wetu utatuigisa katika uimbaji. Nimbo na tuzimbe tena. Viva! 
Praise God. Amen. You are favored. It is by the grace of God that you are here. It is by the grace of God that you are here today. Buana Yesu Asisiwe. These are my very closest sisters. Nataka waimbe nyimbo moja na mtazimama hapo mpaka nimalize kuongea. Thank you.
niliongea ndaresi history what i wanted the congregation to know is that i've lost i've lost a friend i've lost a friend a husband a caring man a man who never let me lack and the same way he brought up his siblings watoto wale amezaliwa nao aliniambia story yake akaniambia babake alikufa kwa 18 so he takes up his family and he takes up his they become all of them on his i mean on his shoulder and then he tells me nimekuwa wewe ni mchanga but you will grow i didn't know sani utanifanya hivyo hiyo kuniambia mapema au ilile alikuwa akiniita by jina nimekuwa you will grow you must grow because there are things he had not done in life so akaniambia to walk me through you must grow and for sure i grew i had to grow sami amelala nikisema kweli foundation umeniachia mume wangu watoto umelea wacha nisema hata watoto wangu wakiwa hapa covid everything was like a switch but the husband i'm talking about unataka shule gani unataka college gani but if you are here and you are a parent and you had it all you had everything to make your children or to make your siblings comfortable and they and, and you know somehow things happen along the way don't point fingers kindly because leo ni asami kesho labda ni kwako bwana yesu asifiwe nataka kuachia hapo this story of me and sami sami hakuwa mgonjwa sami alikuwa vile alivyo hapo watoto tulikuwa tunalea ni wakubwa mimi na sami peke yangu nyuma na hotel na mjukuu so saturday on 7 kwa nimeenda kwa hasa zangu na mambo yangu nikamwambia majia leo utatoka na nitarudi later in the day so uh, i finished my meetings and then i came back na sana akaniambia na hiyo siku aliamka akiwa mchangamfu sana Sami ameretire mimi nimeretire so kazi yetu ni kukaa pale tukifanya one or two but not day on a daily basis because hata mkate moja tuweze maliza so nilipoingia sana akaniambia line tunao kwa kile anasema la kanjie ni ile kwa nje wacha ni nyoroshe mguu na akawa hiyo siku is always very smart hiyo siku ame akavaa suti matching hata nilipoingia nikamuuliza mtu wangu leo kwani una date what kaniambia nini tu wacha zako mimi napenda tu kwa sababu hata hizi suti nimekwambia now that I'm, i don't go to work we i'll sort them out zingine nipakie pasi ama we'll see what to do with that so that is what happened sikujua ningemwambia don't go weka so hiyo kwenda nje kutembea the next thing saa moja hivi we tuna watch news na yeye is a 7 ntv night na watch the citizen so before 7 before or around mkaona amechelewa watu wa pikipiki wanakuja kwa kwa compound msichana anakuwa scared na wanaambia mambo baba ameumia. Sio naenda nje napata mume wangu kweli ni kama ajali. Basi kuelewa ni nini? Maana ninapofika hapo nje napata watu wengine wa boda pande hiyo wengine pande. Na I was like uh, nikashikwa na shock. Alipo sikia sauti yangu akaniita Lenet naumia naumia. Nipeleke hospitali. Sio nikampeleka the nearest hospital na mediko ana kama chini ya kupima pressure so not reading pulse was not there tumbo imeanza kufura a no visible injury jamani hakuna ati amegongwa wapi 
but any time he would hear my voice and niambia my dear naumia na sikuwa naona ni wapi ameumia so hapo kitengela medical kukaa kila kitu ni negative i was worried i called my daughter na mara moja ambulance ya red cross ilikuwa ishafika tukampeleka hospitali mata so mata ndio walipata sami had a complete spinal injury so he was critically ill and he required an emergency operation so immediately when i'm peleka uh, i feel as we negotiate as you know matter you must have money for anything to work so there are these kids you bring up in the you know kwa neighborhood one of them is dr anthony the watoto wanampigia wanamwambia daddy uko hapa mata and how watu wanadidai so anthony says hiyo hi-fi ikae hata kidogo hiyo ni very serious mimi naona wagonjwa metropolitan bring daddy hapa and mimi nitasimama kama surety no deposit i'll organize get all the neurosurgeons get all the doctors we operate on the today like now so that is monday jioni every family member is there sami was taken to theater at night he was operated on and it was successful maana tuliomba pamoja na madaktari na wakasema wao watafanya yale wanaweza kufanya kama madaktari lakini tumtumainie Mungu wakafanya operation na ikawa successful tukaamia Mungu anastahili sifa na utukufu Tuesday Sunday was talking lakini kuongea kule kwa chini he was on intravenous wale wanaenda kumtembelea anaomba nao and that makes me happy because he had silent time with his god na najua mali yuko you know god is a merciful god you ask forgive me if you talk to him in your own way that is what i know sami did wakati wake wa mwisho wednesday ikawa sasa wa mwandishie kukula kidogo wakati hivyo tumbo ikaanza kufura na wakati wao wote sami amepo sami alikuwa there was no all the nerves had died from fear downwards so ningelienda kule ananiambia linet ebu shika hii mkono asifikii kitu shika hii ingine sifikii na shika wapi sifikii eh jamani anashika mguzi siki but the voice is there wenezee akawa hivyo hivyo madaktari wanajaribu kuona vile wanaweza kutoa the, lit, the whatever is it. because now inaanza kuwa poisonous internal organs sasa the, 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 the west has started becoming poisonous so sami hata breathing cannot breathe well and doctors who are working trying to see how they can help so on wednesday naenda nyumbani jioni for party ndio kukuche tazae naitwa tena mizizo sore ndio hapa condition ya mzee imebadilika ndio nikaenda nikaenda hospitali nitapata sasa sami haongei alikuwa na attack na wakama resuscitate akarudisha aka, aka fahamu so hiyo utazi ikaendelea hivyo hivyo mpaka jioni siku tatu ikawa tena amepata attack the doctors called me and so sorry come again mume wako amepata attack kama una nguvu and see as we resuscitate him to one eternal kama atarudi wapendwa that was the last time nilimuona akibreathe his last si bwana pewe sifa other than that the counselors had told me nafsi za mume wako zote hazipo kwa hivyo mama 
tuma mtumaini hata Mungu apende aishi tutaendelea kufanya physiotherapy we are not guaranteeing you that he will walk again so mimi kivyangu nikaambia Mungu wacha mapenzi yako yatimie because if i was given option ningesema wacha awe pale asitembee lakini niwe nikimuona niwe nikimwosha maana he was my lovable husband bwana yesu asipie briefly that is my story with my loved one wacha mungu mapenzi yake yatimie unajua kwa hii dunia kwa hii dunia you are deep yale ninaona you are deep you are the bad yourself with your deep people don't want to be told who won some are the bad so what a mungu aliye juu god in heaven wakati atakuja kufufua walio wake na mimi sasa ninapewa jina lipi Amungu anisaidie. I may not be able. I'm a human being. But Mungu anisaidie. Niendelee kujua ule mlango. Mungu akanisha. That one is my prayer. And believe us kindly put me in prayers. Maana nimepoteza watoto wamepoteza. Sana love the children. Sana do the thing for all of us. Sana these things that we can talk and not even finish wacha yangu ni wachie mwenyezi Mungu na ni mtumainie na we are used to working out together he was my chief executive he was the manager and he knew we would start a project he would start it and say that one limit I've left it for you nitayafanya ama nitatafuta pesa okay so alinilea akinipa responsibility bila aliniambia ni grow sana let me see to do things so naomba Mungu anisaidie anisaidie bwana utafikia and i just want to finish by I want to read but I want the uh, um to read my appreciation I may not read I don't have my text can you read I just want to appreciate all of you by what I written here na Mungu ayabariki sana na mheshimi wake kwa maombi you may not be there physically for me because tutakuwa hapa saa hii wengi lakini kirudi mahali pale na nimewaambia nilikuwa na yeye na mfanyikazi. So lakini kwa maombi najua mtakuwa na mimi. Si Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. So, Amen. Solomon God is good. Um to thank you on behalf of the Mukumo alumni. Um guys who went to a school of Mukumo at different stages. We are here to stand with our sister Linus and just to guarantee her that our prayers and support will not cease we are family friends and colleagues i want to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for the unwavering support you have shown me during this incredibly challenging time your presence both emotionally and physically your financial assistance and your enduring love have been my pillar of strength as i navigate life without my beloved husband the loss of my husband has left a void in my heart that words can hardly express but your kindness and support however provided solace and comfort your shoulders were there for me to lean on your words of encouragement lifted my spirit and your willingness to help financially is the burden that came with such a loss our friends and colleagues you have shown that true friendship extends beyond the workplace and social circles your understanding and empathy have been 
a source of comfort and your generosity has been a lifeline during this trying time. To our family, you have been my rock, my confidence, and my unwavering source of love. Your continuous presence, both physically and emotionally, have given me the strength to carry on. In these moments of grief, your collective support has remained, has reminded me that I am not alone on this journey. I have reaffirmed the power of community and the beauty of human compassion. I will forever cherish the love and kindness you have bestowed upon me. As I move toward, uh, as I move forward, I'm blessed to have you by my side. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being my pillar of strength and for honoring the memory of my beloved husband, Mr. Sami Osore Mulama, with your love and support, with deepest appreciation and love. Sunday. Thank you. Sunday. Sunday, a Sunday. Bring that mic to us. A Sunday, a Sunday, Sunday, wonderful. Now, come out, Kunawatu, Amengia, from Tandao, or walk online. Hapa, Mwambiwa, we exist. Because we are interfering with the shooting. Uh, yeah, ah, what you are coming. Come up, Kunawayo, and India from Tandawa, and Hapa Mwandua Mutoki. You exit. Okay, we move on. Nataka tuwe na Watoto, Ama Mutoto, Takua na Watoto Awini, Moja wa Kiume, na Moja wa Kike. Na Kini, Ningependa, wa Kiume, and Apos Mama. We anasimama na wenzake waonekane wa wewe lakini mmoja ndiye atakaye nena kwa ajili ya wakati kwa ajili ya wakati alafu tena wakike watasimama mmoja wao yule amechagua atakuwa spokesperson lakini wengine watawevu tu hivi baada ya kuajiliwa so may i welcome the children may we hear you say something about your dad Karibu, karibu. Aya wa tume, uko na nini sasa maisha hapo? Bwana sifie. Bwana sifie tena. So uh, today we will bring a demon to I'd like to acknowledge my brother who is here and uh, the person being Tim Ricky, who is our first and son. Uh, the other one being Susan Leo, also who is not here but absent with apology. Uh, my other brother is Absalom, who is with us online and uh, I'd like to acknowledge his tribute. And uh, the other one is my twin brother, who is here to both himself. So um, I'd like him to introduce himself then go the tribute on behalf of the brothers as we go on. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Yes, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for standing with us. Um, Sammy Osorio's last born son. Um, <coughs> I spent a lot of time with him during his last days and the final years. He used to want me home almost all the time. And in terms of physical presence, I'm the one who spent a lot of time with him, being with him, telling him what to mind, and all. Uh, before I start reading the tribute of the son here, I'd like to say, Dad, I know you are watching over us right now, and you'd want us to see, you'd really want us to see us smart and representing you really well. You let us know that you are your stars, and this is what you're doing. With. Dad, you know you're up there. And the stars will keep on shining. So, it's a lot we talked about. He used to call me, uh, we used to sit at home, we had conversation, he used to talk to me from 7, 10, 11. Love talking a lot. 
a lot no, those of you who know my dad you know how much he loves having conversation sometimes i'd find that myself only with him in the sitting room and he was a man who loved wiggle his tongue so we will talk in my silence and he will talk for almost three or four hours i'd really miss that and uh, telling me about how life is what to expect yeah and going ahead so that all you can do right now is release you from my heart and you believe your soul is resting in peace as you prophesied about our lives it will come to pass as the stars will we'll keep on shining so that's what i do i'll read the tribute of my brother absalom who's in qatar right now but he's with us online and here it goes that you have been a source of light to all of us you have given all that a child will desire without measure you denied yourself the life. you denied yourself the pleasure of li- of life just to ensure that he are comfortable you gave us a wonderful and caring mother who works el- te- tirelessly and effortlessly to ensure that he never lack anything even a single day all the basic needs catered for fully and any extras were just a matter of request and for sure it was Sorry, out. can you some people help uh, our dear sister to be out where there is enough fresh air don't crowd around her taking all the air just take her somewhere there is enough fresh air Okay, as I carry on, you held our hand and walked side by side till, as, till the very end. Personally, from New, personally, from New Mudaiga Nasari, Nairobi Primary Are there doctors or nurses? They can assist us there, please. Okay. You kept, uh, you kept on reminding me how lucky I have been in my life since my childhood involved in a train accident, falling down from several feet high while at Opapa, Jericho, Maringo, and many more tribulations. But here I am, still very much healthy and alive. Everything that happens in this world happens at the time God chooses. For my, th- for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither your ways my ways declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are the ways higher than the ways and thoughts higher than our thoughts. The words, the words that come out of my mouth will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose which I sent it. Dad finally told me, my son, find your purpose. There is something inside you you will become someone great one day only if you stay and live a righteous life forever loved cherished dad absalom ashore mulama dad was born son thank you so um i'll conclude by reading a tribute uh, to dad so my dad is my confidant he is my best friend and uh, we share the lot Oh, 
Ruth Achayo Osore, the last daughter of the family. Betty Osore. Asande, Asande, Asande. Asande, kuna hili gari, KAT561F. Uh, please, you block somebody. If you can, if you are here hearing me, just go and uh, remove the vehicle in the way of your friend. Sande. Now, tunaendelea vizuri, mungu wako nazi. Jamii imenena, nataka nikamilise mambo ya jamii kwa kuita ndugu alamu dada. Na nigependa uh, wasimame, wasimame dada atasema kwa kimaliza ndugu na ya asemi. Karibu sana. Karibu sana. Asante hmm? hmm. wakati wenu tutaokoa wakati kwa kusema machache. Eh madhabahu pamoja na wote wale ambao wamekuja kuomboleza nasi hamjambo Bwana Yesu asifiwe amen asanteni kwa sababu ya kuja kuwa nasi hapa hapa sisi tuko kama ndugu ndugu zake Sami na mimi ndio ninayemfuata Sami kwa majina naitwa Benjamin Ngesa Mulama na kuna dada zetu wawili ambao ama watatu samani ambao hatuko nao hapa kwa saa hizi e, mmoja ni Justin Mkwana yeye yuko sehemu za nyumbani alafu tuko na Rose Cheche ambaye kidogo hajisiki vizuri kwa sasa na mwingine ni Sophie Obota ambaye yuko sehemu za Marekani najua an ana tuona kwa wazazi Vile tulivyo hapa wakati huu tumekuja kwa sababu ya hii sherehe ya ndugu yetu kwa sababu yale ambayo yeye ametenda akiwa hapa ulimwenguni ni makubwa na jinsi yalivyo makubwa ndio naita sherehe kwa upande wangu kwa upande wa nitamuita mdogo wangu aweze kusoma e, ile tribute ambayo tumeandika asante such leadership of friends and family members i greet you in the name of jesus christ my name is dr martin mulama and i am the last born in the family uh, in our family that is family sorry i will read this on behalf of the brothers because we put it together and we thought it is easier to read what's written than to speak because we'll speak for some we can speak until tomorrow so our dear brother now that you are gone you are no longer here to share the bond we had together a bond of love and care you would check on us every single day of the week to share the day's plans and check if we had any concerns besides being a brother we have known you as a father a friend and that's the bond we shall miss yet somehow we some something tells us that you are watching over us now that you are finally free from worldly cares keep watching over us like you did since we were young we miss you so very much and cannot hide our tears yet within our hearts we feel you are always by our side we know our good lord sent you here with a purpose 
and have to work. Work you have accomplished. Home you have gone. Even though we know that since your, de your departure, life will never be the same to us, yet it comforts us to know that one day we shall meet again, and that is the goodness of our Lord. Your memories shall forever be with us in, in the longest time, and your good, good deeds shall go on from generation to generation. I will introduce um, the ones standing as with us here. On, on um, our right, oh sorry, on my left, immediate left, is my wife, Sarah Mulama. And, and Praise God, church. Praise God, friends. Bwana is a sisiwe. Asante ni sana kutufariji. Mungu wa bariki. And on next to her is Margaret Andeso. Amba yenge mke wake Benjamin Ngesa. Bwana is a sisiwe. A sisiwe tena. Mimi ni zaongea tu mambo mawili. Kwa upendo ya mlamaa kila alikuwa anaenda. Nikikuja kwa hii poma nilipata kama mzee anaenda na nilipata mama. Mama akanielezea huyu jana yetu wa poma mkubwa. Ukim Ukimpenda uitwe basi umepata poma. Nilika sikaweza kumuonyesha tu upenda haraka hivyo. Ilipiti ni pii na kunyamaza nione kwanza upendo wake ni aina gani nilipomsoma pole pole nikaelewa upendo wake nilimuonyesha kweli upendo na mlamwa alitupenda saiti ikafika siku akaniambia mlamwa kabla bwana yako atapeleka mali kwenu ili utue kweli poma imekupenda mimi nitatoa ngombe zangu za kwanza ndio sitatangulia kwenu. Hakika hapo nikajua mlamwa ni mtu wa upendo na alikuwa na furaha kwangu na alinipenda. Kwa maana sio wengi vile ninajua kifika hapa nimefika. Kula anaweza toa ngombe anapeleka kwa shemeji yake. Mlamwa alitupenda. Nikiongea hivyo hata mimi ninajua kweli anitupenda ile upendo. Ni hayo tu na Mungu awabariki. Um, on behalf of our sisters, as explained, they are all not here, um, and they have written their tribute. It will be read by uh, Darlene. Darlene is my sister-in-law, the sister to Apollo Obota, who is the husband, the late Apollo Obota, who is the husband to the sister I follow. Thank you, Darlene. Praise God, church. I'm going to read the tribute on behalf of my sisters-in-law. They are sisters to the late Fabian Chauve. Today, we gather here to pay tribute to a remarkable man, a loving brother and a true pillar of our family, Baba Samuel Chauve. As his sisters, we are honored to stand before you to share our deep and heartfelt appreciation for the incredible person he was. Baba Sami was not just an older brother. He was a guiding light in our lives. From the earliest days of our childhood, he took on the role of protector, mentor, and friend. His wisdom was a constant source of guidance, and his strength was a source of comfort during life trials. Baba Sami had a heart overflowing with love, he had a unique way of making each one of us feel special, as if we were the most important person in his world. His kindness and generosity knew no bounds, and he had an uncanny ability to bring laughter and joy to even the darkest of days. His legacy extends far beyond our family. He was a source of inspiration to his friends and colleagues, and his impact on the community was immeasurable. 
Babasani's dedication to making the world a better place was overwhelming, and he leaves behind a legacy of compassion, generosity, and selflessness. That will continue to touch the lives of many. In our hearts, Babasani will forever remain the loving brother. We shared our joys and sorrows, the wise counselor who guided us through life's challenges, and the embodiment of love, kindness, and grace. My brother took me like a child. He nurtured me since I was three years old, after we lost our father, Absalom Mulama. His wise counsel has made me who I am today. Gone too soon. It is well, my brother. He left this earth to heaven after repentance and received Jesus as his personal savior. We will miss Brother Sami greatly. The daily phone calls are no more. As we say our final goodbyes, let us remember the incredible gift that Baba Sami Osori, and that was Baba Sami Osori. And may his memory continue to shine brightly in our lives, inspiring us to be better, kinder, and more loving individuals. May your soul rest in peace, dear brother. You will always be loved, cherished, and deeply missed. Rest in peace, Baba. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Um, mimi kama mke wa kitinda mimba, kwa hii familia, kweli sami alikuwa ni baba yangu. I do want to, take, to talk much because I easily break down and I make the family also break down. It is not easy. Look, someone who was a father to us, it is not easy. He was more than a father, a friend, ever jolly, ever giving, always there for us in whatever situation. Just make a call and he comes to you running. And he comes to you in provision. Bwana Yesasiwe. My husband did not see his father when he started people. He knew as father. And so when I got into him, I also followed suit. And it is only cannot express the hurting that we have. What consoles me is that Sammy was a God loving man. He told me, Mlamwa, I always pray for you people. I mention every name for you to God. I pray for you every day, every morning, every night. And that consoled me so much. I just pray to God that he is going to Sunday, Sunday. to intercede for us. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rest in peace, Brother Sammy. Thank you. As under you had speeches from the family, and I know there is one point I don't want to miss. Uh, Sister Lilith, I don't know if you got a brother around. Is there a brother around from the other side? From your side? Come on, Ayuko. But oh, let her, let her greet because. We have to consider both sides. Just come and greet, please. It's very important, isn't it? Yes. To show the oneness that existed. Salimia. Say Majina. Salimia. Wala atikiwe. Kwa Majina ni Bishu Sechwani. Na langu ni kusema tu asante ni sana mutusikilia. Tulikuwa tunaona hatuta tobwa. Lakini kwa sababu ya maombieni, na sisi ya nyo kujiombea, buwana anayonekana mbariki ya sana. Brada angu ya kukunga tumukono. Mahali upo bunga tu mkona amekuambia hivyo. Eh, asante. Asante. Asante sana ndugu. Aya, so that brings us to the end of the speeches from the eh, family, media family. Nataka sasa twende kwa mara kwa rafiki. I told you I'll just follow this program to the letter.
nikaleta mambo yangu ingawa na introduce mengine. Sasa rafiki rafiki na jirani. Kama kuna uh, jirani uh, na kuna na na naambiwa kuna justice ndugu justice biongaya. Is he present please? Hey, welcome, welcome, come and greet us. You are a great friend to Sami, and uh, we must recognize you. Welcome, our brother.
Bana sikiwe. Tuka hapa ni kwa ajili ya ndugu wetu Sami Osore. Nikijoin tutengela Church of God kama mchungaji. Sami Osore amekuwa chini ya mchungaji Reverend David Ondeko kwa miaka mingi. Nikiingia kwa kanisa nilimpata amefanya kazi nyingi kama finance chair na mara moja akasema mtungaji nimechoka kwa hii level wacha nipumzike niwachie vijana na hakika tulibadilisha but tukamwambia hautawacha kazi utafikisha kazi kanisa amani Mungu wametaka ufukishe na tukampatia kazi ya patron mpenzi wa ule amelala yule mmesikia kufanya kazi nyingi kwa kanisa akianzia atriva kwa miaka yote kanisa ilianzia kwa nyumba yake kanisa likitengela limekuwa it's more than 10 years kama amesimama nane ameenda kwa baba kama ashanunua mawe the first glory ya kujenga kanisa yeye ndiye alipasteje biggest part to make sure the plot is found and we are just ready just about to start construction na yeye ameenda kama ashapeana mawe yake hakika mtumishi wa Mungu amefanya kazi tukifurahia muno na kanisa limepoteza lakini tunaomba roho yake Mungu aiweke mali pema kulingana na matendo yake mazuri yale amefanya barikie Samba mchungaji samba mchungaji kwa upande wa sote huo na na ulizwa na naombwa niliwaambia i go i follow you to the letter but is not cast on a stone so narudi nyuma nipatie rafiki naambiwa kuna rafiki na si mzuri ni siku ya ndugu sore ingawa you know you are conscious of time ako wapi kuja asalimia aseme neno moja alafu tu tuendelee karibu karibu patie nafasi ya pite ah oh ayuko klaji uh, mama Linet na watoto familia yote ombeleze wezi zangu bwana asifiwe mimi kwa majina naitwa dr job obwaka huyu anayesimama hapa huyo ni ejmet wangu tumezaliwa mwaka mzima mwaka desemia kwa hivyo sisi tumezaliwa hapa ni waluya wale walizaliwa Nairobi Ukitwambia uchagoni wapi atusemi Momias, Wisero, tunasema Island. Sisi tulizaliwa Island. Na vile tulijuana na huyu akawa rafiki yangu tukiwa wadogo. Tulifanya kikundi cha kutembeleana. Na kitu kikubwa ambacho nitazunguza tu ya utoto peke yake, tuzunguze mambo ya baadaye. Tukawa marafiki na tukawa marafiki wa dhati. Wale ambao wanafundishana wanafikana mkono wanaenda kanisani wanatenda mema wakati wetu kulikuwa na anasa nyingi na ulipokuwa kizunguza na sami alikuwa very focused alikuwa na ma- ma- maono akisema kwamba tuangalie mazuri kwanza tuache anasa tusome na tu tukuru Mungu na kumtii Mungu na hiyo ndio tulifuata kwa hivyo tulikuwa kama vijana tulifanya vitu vya ujana ndio tulicheza zile zinaitwa banta tulipenza fei watu wale wanajua wanatoka Island wanajua nazunguza jua nini na zaidi ya ile tukacheza futa mimi mwenyewe ni mchezaji wa mai na yeye alizingia kwa boxing pia kwa hivyo tulikuwa na mashughuli nyingi Island na nikizungumza hivyo wengi ambao wanatoka Island ambao nazunguza kwa niaba yao. Wengine ni kama ule mheshimiwa pale, mama wewe wengine. Kuna Emmanuel Kubasu, Okubasu, unajua Justice? Yes. Okubasu. Na kuna wengi ambao tulizaliwa nao hapa. Lakini kitu kikubwa ni kul- wazazi walikaza ya kwamba tutii Mungu. 
na hiyo imeleta baraka. Asante. Asante ni sana na Bwana awasifiwe. Amen. Unaona mmoja wake alikuwa mzuri sana, si ndio? Islamba ze. Haya, watu wa wanalo, watu wa makongeni and what up. Now, ni kuje karibu. Unajua hii program atuwezi maliza mambo yote. Kuna yale tutafanya hapa, kuna yale yatatekelezwa kule nyumbani. Na najua kuna grand children who are not mentioned kwa hii program. They are here. And uh, kuna nieces, kuna nani, grand children wale wako wako hapa. Wasimame. Wewe well, stand up. Stand up we want to see you. I on behalf of all of you, one of you say something. Just greet. You know, testimony is from my eulogy. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, praise God. Amen. My name is Casey Wamaida. Um, that's King Ricky Osorio. My brother is on the way. That's Osorio. We have Leo. We have Liam. These are Absalom um, Lama's children. We have Malcolm. Biko Osorio. The late Biko Osorio's child, son. We have Judy. And we have Theo. Theo is Faith, Faith Okello's son, and Julie is Belinda's daughter. So on behalf of our great, of, on behalf of our great grandfather, he was a great man. Uh, we wrote a tribute for him. He was an awesome grandfather who took care of us. He would love us so much. He would be happy to see each and every one of us. He had a relationship with each and every one of us, and he will be so excited to hear from us. He will usually not call us by our names. He'll be like, oh, for me, he will say, oh, my granddaughter, I'm so happy to hear from you. I am so happy you have come to see me. I thank God for you. And for that, I really, really thank God for him. He has shown us how to love. He kept on, he kept on saying that we should be unified. All of us should be unified. Unity, we should love each and every one of us in our family. And I'm happy that even in his fine moments, when he was, you know, when he was not in the hospital, sorry, and he was, you will say he was not well, but he was well, he will recognize you and will say, I'm so happy that you came. I'm so happy. So I'm happy, all of you that came, I'm so happy that you touched all our lives for you to be here. Thank you, thank you so much. Mbarikiwe. Kwa kuwa mbaya sana kwa kiseme kitu, sindio? Nise ezu wako, mahali muko fanya hivi mukono. Muko wapi nise? Hey, and daughters in law, wako hapa, sindio? Sima meni, sima meni tuwaone. Nisiku yenu, najua, tunaenda kinezi danini ya kini, nisiku yenu. Tume waona, sindio? Hey, asande. Do you want to say something, one of you? Okay, wamesema wako sawa. Asande sana, asande sana. Na ninapo malisia hapo, nataka if I, if... Nephews and nieces are just the same thing. Where are the nephews? Nephews, nephews stand up. Stand up, we want to see you. That is wonderful. Great man. Asande. Azande, Azande. So one of you say something. I don't want to deny you. Tase maule obasia alikuwa mukali. Salimia. I know you have time to talk. Come, introduce them and just say a word. Don't read that treaty, please. No, 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 no. That is a eulogy I saw with you. Just say something from your heart. Vile ulimujua. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Uh, my name's uh, Cheche Omungala. If you go through the tribute, you'll find that we have the junior nephews and we have the senior nephews. 
So I represent and talk on behalf of the senior nephew. Uh, senior nephew because... Introduce the rest first, then you can let him say something. Okay, this is Edgar Obota, Pastor Edgar Obota, uh, Bani Mulama, and Cliff Obota, Young Obota. Young Obota, Cliff Obota, and Edgar Obota uh, are Sophie's children, the sister who has been told that she's in the United States. Uh, okay. Um, we forgot our little niece, Fedela Mulama. This is uh, Dr. Mulama's daughter. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Kat. Thank you all for your support. And um, on behalf of the nieces, Uncle would say our daughters, my daughter, each and every one of us, because that's how we were in his eyes. Thank you so much for your loving support, and on behalf of all of them, we want to say that we love you back. And I'll also just say that we're, we've not walked alone. I'd just like to thank and recognize the support of uh, Buriburu Church of God, please. If we may just say, your unending support, immense support and love. Thank you very much. Colleagues of... Um, Mom Sarah Mulama and colleagues of that you know, Martin uh, Chikuku. I think Please, I was not opening much. up. Now, <laughs> thank you very, very much for all your loving support. Um, another niece is mm -hmm. here, Sharon Mulama. You would also. Okay, Asante Sana. So let me just say one thing. Um, I had written something brief here, but I've been asked not to read it. Uh, I had a very close relationship with Uncle Sammy, very, very close relationship, uh, and I said from my tribute, this is a man I consciously came to know uh, way back after my father passed away because he stepped into our family and he became a very instrumental person. Uncle Sammy, we have been to places, we have gone places, he has taken us places, and lately, the last two years, uh, we've been having deep discussions. In fact, it's very interesting that the Sunday he was admitted, I was supposed to be having a meeting with him. Unfortunately, we met in hospital. One of the things that he has been very key on is concerning family unity. He said it in hospital. He said it in uh, uh, Metropolitan. He said it in Mata. So I know I have a responsibility to bring together uh, the Mrs. Fraternity. Can I just allow Edgar to say just one thing? Praise God, Church. My name is Pastor Edgar Obota, uh, Sophia's firstborn. And uh, to me, Uncle Sami is a father to me because he's raised us up to cure our total Baka Mali Nikosai. I remember when my father died, everyone made a promise. Every person who stood up to speak made a promise and they said, we will stand by you. But the only man who kept his word from the time my father died is, is this great man lying here. He was part of my life. We even drove for 18 hours together with my mom until he met here to go and get a wife in Uganda. And, and he said, and we went with him all the way to Uganda to get a wife. He has been part of my life from the time I was a child up to now. My brothers here can attest. He, he would always call us every day. Sometimes because they live close, close to him, they would visit him in Kitengela and he would advise us and give us wise counsel. So to us, we feel like we've lost a very great man. And I remember when we were praying with him together with my cousin Cheche, he kept on from Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. He kept on telling us, Vijanawangu, make sure mpendane na mkae pamoja. He repeated that on Sunday, on Monday, and on Tuesday. And that, that is a task that has been left to us to make sure that that vision and that dream comes to pass. So we send him off well, 
and we thank God for the life of our dear departed father because he's a great man to us. May God bless us all in peace. Thank you. Asante, asante, asante. Thank you. Tumerudi nyuma. Program ya ibada kama hii tunapoitengeneza tunatengeneza na jamii. Tunatengeneza na jamii. Hatutengenezi sisi peke yetu. So wakati naenda na hii program is because I know you are involved in drawing it. Asante. Na nataka tuendelee na kanisa. District 6.8. Kayole district 8 hapo. Neno moja kama hakuna district niende kwa area. You are still convincing. Just a word. Ya madabada madabao familia ya sami na wote waliofika kuomboleza bwana asifiwe. Na nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa ajili ya ndugu Sami. Sami was a gift from God. Familia imeshuhudia na hata kama kanisa tumeshuhudia katika district mikutano yetu nyingi mama district alikuwa na attend na unapoona mama district unamuona hata yeye yuko pale because most of the time alikuwa anamsindikiza kwa hivyo tunashukuru kwa kazi ambayo ametenda kule kitengela na katika katika district kuu kwa ujumla zaidi nyingine nimesema was a gift to us let us learn from him mbarikiwe sana sande area kaka sekuri tarahemi kitu wako Niko mtu akusema neno la e. Sikuri tarajie. Asante. Si atutapoteza wakati hapo mimi nishukuru Mungu. I am the overseer of Caroline area. Huyu o oh, sore nilimjua wakitoka at river wakienda kuanzisha kanisa Kitengera. He was very generous. He offered his compound kwa ajili ya kanisa kukutana hapo wakati wanajipanga kupata plot. Mimi nilienda kuwaombea pale os alias alafu baadaye walipata mahali akawaelekeza i went to pray for them again hata reconciliation ile walifanya na watu wa wa Atu river me i went to pray for them and i'm the one who installed the first pastor there na kwa hivyo nilitaka nimsimamishe awasalimie sababu wako hapa haitakuwa vizuri kumuigno reverend ndeko simama usalimie Asante asante kiongozi wa eneo hili. Wasalimu hamjambo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God is good and all the time it is true God is always good unto us. Hakika vile ambavyo kiongozi anasema uh, kwa hakika nina ushuhuda mwingi kwa ajili ya mzee Sami jinsi ambavyo tulitembea naye. Lakini sasa tupoteza wakati ila tu wapendwa. Langu ni ya kwamba nijifunza mengi. Mzee Sami alitaka kujua neno la Mungu na akawa mnyenyekevu. Akawa mtiifu ya kwamba hata wakati ambapo alijiunga na kanisa letu wengi hawakujua kwamba hajabatizwa. Lakini wakati ambapo tuweza kuongea tukakubaliana pamoja na Minet ya kwamba wabatizwe alikubali. Na akaniambia kwa maana nimemwelekeza nitamsimamia kama baba mzazi ili kwamba apate kuingia katika neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu. Na hata wakati ambapo alihalalisha ndoa kim tulisimama naye tukatenda mengi kando na hayo aliweza kutoa nyumba yake kando na vile ambavyo overseer anasema si compound alitoa nyumba tuitumie kama kanisa bwana Yesu asifiwe msingi wa kanisa la kitengela ni nyumba ya Sami Osore na hakika tuombe jamii ambao wamesalia ombi langu ya kwamba wakaweza kuiga matendo ya baba ila kwamba wakeleze ule ambapo wangeweza kutimiza mapenzi ya baba yao hapa hapa duniani kabla waweze kwenda kutana naye. Ya lango muhimu ni kwamba tuombe wapendo hawa wakasimame. Na Mungu awabariki sana. Asante, asante. Wakati nasema compound na jumulisha summary, si ndio? Asante. So I'm the one who installed Pastor uh, Reverend Ondeko kule kuwa mchungaji na hata wakati walitoka akimove kila wakati nilikuwa nao maana nilikuwa uh, mwenyekiti wa uh, district wakati huo 
Lile nitasema ni kwamba sijaona mtu mkarimu kwa kanisa. Vile nilimuona vile namjua na nilimuona huyu ndugu. Yeye ndiye Cornelia wa siku hizi. Alijinyima kiasi kikubwa kuona ya kwamba hawa wapate upload. Iko Harambe nilifika nao na niliona ukarimu wake na jamii yake. This wonderful man lying here. Unajua nasema hivyo saingine kwa uchungu sababu naona siku hizi watu wanainuka ni maingineer ni madaktari ni maloya lakini wakiangalia plot ya kanisa wanaiangalia wakiimezea mate wanaenda wanaanza kumisilid watu kwenda against uongozi wa kanisa we have that and i really sympathize for those brethren him instead of doing that alitoa kanisa lipate plot and you who is enabled by God kwa nini usumbue kanisa utatize kanisa kwa ajili ya mali ile unaona Bwana awasaidie so ni hayo Mungu abariki ndugu uh, roho ya ndugu na abariki jamii kwa yale ndugu alipanda hayo ndio naweza sema kwa niaba ya kanisa Bwana aweza sifiwe Bwana aweza sifiwe basi tunamrejesha na kufungia hapo Usemi na ayology iko in those attributes isn't it they and they have been reading them and those that have not been read i know they did a lot of uh, what programs na kila mmoja hako nayo wale ama wengi wako nayo please just go through those uh, uh, tributes na uh, itakuwa vizuri Nimeandikwa hapo kueleza mengi uh, uh, kuhusu upendo wa jamii kwa mpendwa huyu ambaye amelala. Asante. Nifungie hapo na nitaji maombi kwa ajili ya haya ya usira. Na nitaita ndugu uh, Livingston Sakwa ambaye ni Vice Secretary wa cluster yetu ya Nairobi. Uh, yeye huwa uh, Mariakani area. Yeye ndiye atakuja kutoa sala na mimi waliofiwa kanisa la kitengela area ma kalileni na hapa pale zangu tunazungumza kweli kabisa kuhusu sami sisi ndio watu wa Iceland na sana tumejua wakati alijitoa sana kupeleka ndugu yake Benjamin kwa shule kila wakati kumpeleka na kumrudisha na hata nikafanya nikamjua through my brother Kefa na alikuwa mtu mkarimu sana yule mmesema kwa hivyo Mungu awatie nguvu mmepoteza hata kanisa limepoteza na sija tumepoteza ningesi jamii ambayo imefiliwa wasimame ili tuombe the family to stand so that we can pray together Tuombe baba wetu katika jina la Yesu tuanze mbele yako tukiwa ndani ya hekalu tukiomba neema ya kazidi kaa pamoja nasi kwa ajili ya kufiliwa kwa ajili ya mpendwa ambaye alikazi alifanya kazi nyingi katika jamii katika kanisa lako na katika eneo hili la Nairobi Mungu baba umpumzia roho yake nami katika jina la Yesu naweka familia mikononi mwako wanaomboleza wana uzuni Mungu baba naomba ukawapunguze machozi yao ili wakaona utukufu wako kama imetangulia Mungu baba na Mungu baba sisi tujiandae kwa ajili ya kuja kwako kwa sababu wakati huu ni wakati wako na unachukua wale wamependa vile sama alifanya kazi yako katika kanisa Mungu baba hata nasi ukatupe neema hiyo ikasema pamoja na kila mmoja wetu jamii mke wake watoto wake wajukuu ndugu zake wote katika jina la Yesu naweka mkononi mwako nikiomba faraja zako zikae pamoja ni kila mmoja wao kila hitaji lao hasa wakati huu wa majonzi ukae pamoja nao hata safari yao ambayo imesalia kwenda sehemu za nyumbani iwe mikononi mwako hata kwa ajili ya mipango yote Mungu Baba tunakualika ukazidi kutuonekania na kutuvunika ndamu yako takatifu ili yote itekeze kuingia mapenzi yako tunama nao ili ujisimama na wale walichangulia na wakaomba dua kutoka kwako na kwa pamoja nao. Mama muku mjane watoto wote ukazidi kuwafunika damu ya kutakatifu. Baada ya hapo wewe ukawezeshe 
yale ambao natamani yakatendeke kwa jina penzi yako jaza ile pengo ili ya kwamba Mungu Baba wakajitu kwa pamoja nao na ni kwako na kwa Yesu Kristo aliye bwana mkombozi wetu amen Nao tutaenda haraka haraka kwa hiyo sehemu ambayo imesalia tunataka tuwe na kwaya kwaya watuletee namba na wale wa kusoma maandiko wale wanajitayarisha kusimama na uh, kusoma hayo maandiko Asante kwaya karibu za njori kwaya the therapist eh? awanda huru kwaya
kusoma katika Wakorinto wa kwanza mlango wa 15 nitasoma kuanzia verse 20 to 36 alafu my colleague atachukulia hapo lakini sasa Kristo amepupuka katika wafu limbuko lao waliolala maana kwa kuwa mauti ililetwa na mtu kadhalika na kiama ya wafu ililetwa na mtu kwa kuwa kama katika Adamu wote wamekufa kadhalika na katika Kristo wote watahuitwa lakini kila mmoja mahali pake limbuko ni Kristo baadaye walio wake Kristo atakapokuja hapo ndipo mwisho atakapompa Mungu baba ufalme wake atakapobatilisha utawala wote na mamlaka yote na nguvu maana sharti amiliki yeye hata awaweke maadui wake wote chini ya miguu yake adui wa mwisho atakaye batilishwa ni mauti kwa kuwa alivitisha vitu vyote chini ya miguu yake lakini atakaposema vyote vimetishwa ni dhahiri ya kuwa yeye aliye mutishia vitu vyote hayumo basi vitu vyote vikiisha kutishwa chini yake ndipo mwana mwenyewe naye atatishwa chini yake yeye aliye mutishia vitu vyote ili kwamba Mungu awe yote katika wote au je wenye kubatilizwa kwa ajili ya wafu watafanyaje kama wafu hawafufuliwi kamwe kwa nini kubatilizwa kwa ajili yao na sasa kwa nini tumo hatarini kila saa naam ndugu kwa huku kujisifu kwangu niliko nako juu yenu katika Kristo Yesu Bwana wetu ninakufa kila siku ikiwa kwa jinsi ya kibinadamu nalipigana na hayawani wakali kule Efeso nina faida gani wasipo sufuliwa wafu na tule na tunywe maana kesho tutakufa Musidanganyike mazungumuze mabaya huaribu tabia njema Tumieni akili kama ipasavyo wala mstende dhambi kwa maana wengine hawamjui Mungu Ninanena hayo ni wapedeheshe Lakini labda mtu atasema wafufuliwaje wapo nao huja kwa mwili gani ewe mpumbavu uipandayo haihuiki kisipokufa nalibarikiwa andiko unachopanda ni mbeku tu labda ya ngano au nafaka nyingine na si mmea mzima ambao hutokea baadaye Mungu huipa hiyo mbeku mwili anayotaka kila mbeku hupata mwili wake wa pekee mili ya viumbe vyote si sawa mili ya binadamu ni ya wanyama moja ya wanyama ni namna nyingine ya, ya ndeke ni ya namna nyingine na mwili ya samaki pia ni ya namna nyingine iko mili ya mbinguni na mili ya dunia uzuri wa mili ya mbinguni ni mwingine 
na uzuri wa mwili ya dunia ni mingine uko uzuri wa jua wa mwezi na wa nyota hata nyota nazo huitafuliana kwa uzuri ndivyo ilivyo kuhusu uhukuo wa wafu kama vile ndeku mwili huzikwa ardhini ukiwa katika hali ya kubadilika kuharibika zamani lakini hufufuliwa katika hali ya kutoharibika huzikwa katika hali duni hufufuliwa katika hali tukuvu huzikwa katika hali dhaifu hufufuliwa ukiwa mwenye nguvu unapozikwa ni mwili wa kawaida unapofufuliwa ni mwili wa kiroho kuna mwili wa kawaida na kutakuwa na mwili wa kiroho maana maandiko yasema mtu wa kwanza Adamu alikuwa kiumbe mwenye uhai lakini Adamu wa mwisho ni roho awapeaye watu uhai lakini unapoangalia kuwako si ule mwili si ule mwili wa kiroho ila ule mwili wa, wa kawaida kisha ule mwili ni wa roho Adamu wa kwanza aliumbwa kwa udongo alitoka ardhini Mtu wa pili alitoka mbinguni wote walio wa dunia wako kama huyo mtu aliyeumbwa kwa udongo wale walio wa mbinguni wako kama yule aliyetoka mbinguni kama vile yalivyofuatana na yule aliyeumbwa kwa udongo vivyo hivyo tutafuatana na huyo aliyetoka mbinguni basi nduku nasema hivi kile kilicho kile kilichofanywa kwa mwili na damu haku, hakiwezi kuharibika ufalme 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 wa Mungu wa, na chenye kuharibika hakiwezi kuwa na hali ya kutoharibika sikilizeni na waambieni siri sisi hatutakufa zote ila zote tutageuzwa wakati wa mbiu ya mwisho kwako miko iko moja kufumba na kufumbua maana tarumbeta tarum, mara tarumbeta ya mwisho itakapolia wafu watafufuliwa kutoka hali ya kutoweza kufa tena na sisi tutakeuzwa maana si lazima kila kiharibikacho kipate hali ya hali ya kutoharibika mwili uwa, mwili uwezao kufa hujivalie hali ya kutokufa basi mwili huu wenye kuharibika utakapo valia hali ya kutoharibika na kile chenye kufa kitakacho valishwa hali ya kutokufa hapo ndipo itakapo timia ile, lile neno lililo andikwa kifo kimeangamizwa ushindi ume ushindi umekamilika kifo ushindi wako uko wapi uwezo wako kuhumiza uko wapi kifo hupata sumu yake katika dhambi nayo dhambi hupata nguvu yake katika sheria lakini tunashukuru Mungu anayetupatia ushindi kwa njia ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo basi ndugu zangu wapenzi simameni imara na thabiti endeleeni daima kuwa na bidii katika kazi ya Bwana mkijua 
kwamba kazi mnayofanya katika utumishi wa Bwana haitakuwa bure. Na Bwana abariki andiko. Wale ambao tunaweza simama kwa ajili ya maombi tukaweze kusimama. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakuja kwako tukisema asante. Tunakushukuru kwa kwa unasema kwa kila jambo tukaweze kusema asante. Hata wakati mgumu wakati tunaomboleza kifo cha mpendwa wetu tuseme asante. Jehova tunakushukuru kwa maisha ambayo ndugu Sami aliweza kuishi hapa. Baba wetu ikafika wakati ambapo kasi yake ilikamilika. Ukamuita sahi ako katika kifua cha Ibrahimu tunasema asante. Na kwa ajili ya kifo chake ametutengenezea ibada mahali hapa. Tumesoma hata maandiko matakatifu tunasema asante. Tunakushukuru kwa Mama Linet pamoja na familia yote kwa jumla. Jamii yote tunasema asante utawafariji hata kwa kanisa marafiki na majirani tunasema asante. Pengo alilowacha tunajua ni pengo kubwa mno lakini unaenda kulisiba. Asante kwa kwa utaendelea kusimama nao hata tunapoendelea na ibada yetu ni katika jina la Yesu tunaomba tukiamini. Amen.
of the Lord and Lord Jesus Christ. A moment has come. We want to hear from you through our servant. We want to pray with the Lord Jesus. We want to hear him as a special vessel to speak to us. A message that is coming with the power of comfort. Thank you, Lord, because uh, you have already anointed him and prepared him, my father, to serve in this altar. We ask that you remain good. Thank you for the anointing power that you have already him. Take him to my father as he delivers the message. Thank you, we give you the praise and worship you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Ovasia Kaloneni area, Wachungaji, Waliosiliwa, na Wambolezaji Wote, Buana Sifiwe, Buana Yesu Sifiwe. When you know, Angalia, too, Yana, you have you, you don't bother even Kusalamia, and I Kusalamia and Bura, too. Buana Sifiwe, yeah, the only person who cannot greet Luyu Menyako Kwa Genesa. Bwana asifiwe. Sisi tuko hai. Mwambie jirani sisi tuko hai. Hata kama Alsa ananongoneza kwa tumbo, lakini tuko hai. Bwana asifiwe. Hata kama tunalia, lakini bado tuko hai. Hata kama uchumi, mafuta itabandishwa, lakini bado tuko hai. Bwana asifiwe sana. We are in the presence of God. And because of our brother who is lying here, we have heard wonderful testimonies about Maisha Yake. Tunashukuru Mungu Sam. We are very happy standing here proudly and bringing before God Mutu Mwenyana Ushuda Kama Uo. Wana Sifia Sam. Siji Wewe Namimi. Ushuda Gani Utatolewa. Sikuio ambata kwa tumelala kama ndugu. Today, nataka tujifunze neno la mwenyesi mungu kutoka kwa kitabu cha Philippians chapter 1 verse 20 to 25. Paul is the writer of this book akiwa katika hali ngumu sana lakini anakumbuka ya kwamba kuna wa kristo ambao wanaitaji kuendeleza imani na kuendeleza kazi ya mwenyezi mungu tunaona ya kwamba Paul says in his word Philippians chapter 1 verses 20 to 25 Philippians chapter 1, verses 20 to 25. Paul anasema, Honestly, Honestly, Expect and hope that I will never do anything to be ashamed of whether I live or die, I always want to be as brave as I am now and bring honor to Christ. If I live, it will be for Christ. And if I die, I will gain even more. I don't know what to choose. I could keep on living and doing something useful. It is hard choice to make. I want to die and be with Christ because that would be much better. But I know that all of you still need me. That is why I'm sure I will stay on to help you 
grow and be happy in your faith. Then, when I visit you again, you will have good reason to take great pride in Christ, Jesus Christ of me. That is the word of God. Today, brothers who are gathered here, Mungu amekuwezesha kuja kushiriki ibada ya ndugu kwa sababu ya kumpa familia uh, moyo ya kwamba this journey they are not work, uh, working alone. Tunaona ya kwamba this letter of Paul to Philippians was written with a lot of thanks to the church and converts in Philip in Philip, those the church that Paul uh, planted in Philip, and these converts heard that Paul was passing through difficulties, temptations, and he was in prison because of preaching Christ. So when Paul was in prison, he was there and he never gave up. He continued praying his God and he continued looking forward. Kuona ya kwamba wa Kristo wote ambao walipokea injili yake wanaendelea to feel his presence even when he was in pain. Ndio tunaona ya kwamba uh, while in prison in Rome Paul was uh, passing through hard times, but he never stopped preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. He encouraged the Philippians in his letter that the true joy comes from Jesus Christ alone. He is encouraging the Philippians church that whether any kind of tribulations will come, they will have to stretch their eyes and look to Jesus. Wakiwa wanaamini ya kwamba Yesu peke yake, ndia ataka ya wainua kutoka katika shida ya namna ya yote. And the church in Philip send a messenger, a person, one of the believers, to visit Paul in, in prison, having some gifts to comfort him in that situation he was. My sister and uh, children, brothers and sisters, we might be in a, 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 a situation ambayo does honor we are alone, but look around. Brothers and sisters are here to comfort you, to tell you that you are not walking this journey alone. We are with you. Be comforted. Watu wengi wako katika magereza mbalimbali. Watu wengi wako katika mawazo mbalimbali. But God is so faithful. He is sending somebody to come and tell you, you are not traveling this journey alone. You are not meeting these temptations alone. There is somebody who is with you, and that is Jesus Christ. Praise the name of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hata sisi wa Kenya tunaposikia ya kwamba hata uchumi ni mbaya hata mafuta itapanda hata nini kitapanda but we must keep our faith alive believing that Jesus Christ ah uh, ambaye anapatikana wakati wa wote hako pamoja na sisi katika safari hii and he is going to make our journey successful. He is going to give to strengthen us and provide every time, every need. Praise the name of God. I would like to encourage mama and children, relatives that I all uh, of us shall live after this, but Jesus Christ will be with you forever. He who is able to wipe away your tears and grieve, call on him alone, look on him alone. All of us, friends and relatives, will talk good of whatever they are going to do for you, 
but only Jesus is the one who is permanent friend, who will be available all the time to do you everything good that your heart will be cherished. Bwana asifiwe sana. Biposa anasema ya kwamba mwimbaji akasema nainua macho yangu nitazame milimani msaada wangu watoka wapi ona nenda katoka kwa Mungu Yesu wangu na roho yangu kweli wewe ni wajabu na mtaku tunafaa kumshukuru Yesu maana yeye ndiye atapatikana wakati wa wote tunapomuinulia macho yetu msaada wetu unapatikana pale tunaona ya kwamba hata wakati Paulo na, na, na Sila walikuwa gerezani hawakuona gereza waliona Yesu na Yesu akafungua milango wakatoka Bwana asifiwe sana maana mwanadamu anaweza kukufungia mambo yako lakini ukiinua macho yako kwa Yesu Yesu anafungua maana yeye anaufungua wa kila namna Yesu anakuwa pamoja na wewe ata 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 ataweza kupanguza majonzi wakati unalia ataweza kufungua macho to see a new chapter in life praise the name of god tunaona ya kwamba ah uh, and that proves my topic to be living for jesus christ ah uh, living for jesus christ those people who choose to live for christ All the time they will be they will walk with, with Christ. They will pray and they will see miracles working and they will see uh, uh, all the gates and doors opening for them in life. We see what is the meaning of living with Jesus Christ? It is being or getting salvation in your life. Bwana asifiwe sana. Umkiri Yesu Kristo kuwa mwokozi wa maisha yako. Katika maisha yako step ya kwanza, wewe ni kutambua wewe ni mwenye dhambi. Unaishi katika dunia ya dhambi. Basi wewe umtazame Kristo ambaye ni zawadi ya pekee imetolewa na Mwenyezi Mungu kwa ajili sisi zote tutoke dhambini. Ukiri Yesu Kristo kuwa mwokozi wa maisha yako, ndeni utoke katika dhambi. But we normally see to those who don't believe in God life on earth is all what it is they think that it is all everything is on this earth but the bible tells us in ayub 14 that whoever was born whoever is born by a, a woman his or her days are short on the, on, on this world as we look at that Tunaona ya kwamba whether you are 80 years, whether you are 40 years, whether you are how many years, your life is so short because a thousand years in the eyes of God is only one day. Praise the name of God. Wewe unaanza fikiria umeishi muda mrefu and so many people wakiwa hata makanisani wanafikiria wamefanyia Mungu kazi hata muda mrefu sasa kuanzia pale mbele wanaanza kuwa vikwaso wanaanza kugeuka kutoka katika misingi ya kweli wanaanza kujiambia ya kwamba bila mimi kanisa hii haitaendelea bila mimi wakristo hawezi kuwa ndani ya hili kanisa they forget that safari ni kila siku they forget that they have to keep their faith alive and their belief and their deeds kwa Yesu Kristo sikiwa nzuri hizo ndizofanya waweze kumuona Mungu Bwana asifiwe sana You know when you forget that this world is passing very fast then you lose your life even while you are still living utapoteza maisha yako hata kabla kama bado unaishi ukifikiria ya kwamba e, uh, maisha hapa duniani ni ya milele Mwandishi wa kitabu cha Ecclesiastes anaandika akisema in chapter 
Anasema mkumbuke Bwana Mungu wako siku za ujana wako. Kampla asijakuja siku ambazo you will be regretting. You will be saying I have no peace in these days. These days are not pleasant. Sioni raha, sioni amani katika siku hizi. Anasema ya kwamba remember your creator while you are still young. While you are still young. What does he mean? That young people are very energetic and they are making profits here and there and they are gaining a lot in that line. Create, remember your creator. Remember your maker who is above looking at you and who is blessing you with good health and whatever you have. Remember him. Remember him in everything you do. Remember him. Tunaona ya kwamba Paul says my temporary home is destroyed. I have a home, new body in heaven which is awaiting for me. Which Jesus says I have gone to prepare a place for you for where I am you will be. As we live in this body that we really work hard kuzitengeneza ukiwa mgonjwa unatafuta the best doctor ukitaka kununua mafuta unanunua mafuta ya bei ukitaka chakula unaambiwa na daktari ule balanced diet and you manage it you buy everything that is required to make your body alive you take care you build good houses you live a comfortable life you continue doing very good things around your life, forgetting that the, the most person you need to do good things to is God. This man, everyone who stood up, amesema ya kwamba, this was a great man. Bwana asifiwa son. He remembered his God. He remembered his creator. And remembered that whatever he has, Kile chochote ambacho amepata katika huu ulimwengu ni Mungu ambaye amempea and he returned to God he gave to God he gave even his house he gave even money he gave his time that may the name of God be lifted high through him I don't know my brother and my sister what you are doing because in this physical tunadanganywa Wakati mtu wako hai hata anaweza kukugonga ya kwamba you are nothing mbele yake anaweza kukutusi akakwambia wewe maskini toka mbele yangu akakwambia ya kwamba hata naweza kunyang'anya mali yote ikwe yangu wakati wewe unajisikia katika mwili you can talk anything you can do anything God has given you all that he is telling us in Ecclesiastes He's telling us, do whatever you want. Nyanganya, chukua. But at the end of the day, you will face judgment. Wana asifiwa sahu. Kuna watu katika jamii zetu wanalia kwa sababu ya jinalaku. Wanalia kwa sababu wewe umewanyanganya the inheritance. Wewe umefanya maisha yao ya mearibika. Wewe umefanya maisha yao I am a future wanalia but today tunasikia ushuhuda wa huyu ndugu ya kwamba baba alikufa lakini alishika ndugu zake wakakuwa akawapeleka the best schools ndugu amesema aliona mmoja akipelekwa and it is true it is good to hold other people's hands when god has opened a well of water in you. Let other people drink from that water. Bwana asifiwe sana. Let other people drink from that water. Let me just give you an example. Wewe ushawahi enda kwa mfereji wa maji? Mfereji wa maji ukiwa na maji, does it choose whether to, to, to drink that water or not? It doesn't. Yeyote ambaye anafika pale anafungua mfereji maji inafanya nini? And God has met you mfereji a tap of water. 
Why do you choose watu wa kukunywa wa maji yako? This man lying here never chose those to drink his water, but he gave generously to all. He gave generously to all. He embraced all the people. He stood by life. He touched life. What are you doing in your church? What are you doing in your community? What are you doing in your family? Kuna watu wamekosa kusoma na wewe peke yako ndio ulisoma. Unataka watu wote wa kuabudu wewe. Unataka watu wote wakuje kwa mlango yako wakiomba omba. Unataka watu wote wa kutembea wewe. At kwa sababu wewe ndio ulisoma. No touch life. Fanya ndugu zako wasome wajitegemee. Fanya ndugu zako waweze kupata hata shamba, walime, wakule vyakula, wanunulie because God has made you to be and you are able to do that. Why are you mean? Why are you mean? Why are you practicing toil? Praise the name of God. We have to stand tall. Kama Mungu amekubariki amekubariki. Now we will stretch your hand to others. Let your let people feel your presence wherever you are. Usianze kuangalia chini ukisema ya kwamba mimi nikisema ninavyo watu wote watakuja. Wacha wakuje wote and give what you can give. Bwana asifiwe sana. Paul is encouraging us. Huu mwili ambao tunapenda tunaufanyia mambo yote utakapopomolewa. Do you have an alternative body in the spiritual realm ama unategemea tu huo mwili wako? Paul huyo mmoja anasema na utesa mwili wangu kwa sababu ya Kristo aliye ndani yangu na ni kwa sababu ya maisha yajayo ya si kwa sababu ya maisha ya sasa wapendwa tunapenda maisha ya sasa we are comfortable with the life we are living today we are comfortable with money that we have in banks we are comfortable with big names that we own on this world forgetting that there is a very good name in heaven Bwana asifiwe sana. Today I would like you to know that it is God who puts you on a certain level and it is God who made you whom you are today. Mungu ana uwezo wa ajabu sana. Kama ikiwa Daudi alikuwa anachunga tu kondoo. Mnajua mchunga kondoo kweli? Mtu ambaye amedharauliwa hata wakati Yesu alienda kwa nyumba ya, ya kina Daudi aliuliza kuna mtu mwingine wanasema hapana hata huyo tu ni mtu wa kondoo huko lakini is lifting this boy is lifting this boy from just a bush from far away be somebody people never thought of and bring that person to sit on the throne who are king bwana asifiwe sana ukitaka kusema amina sema kwa sauti ya juu bwana asifiwe god is all that we need when you have god you have all that you need in life and when you embrace you love god god will add will supply you with every good thing and you become a source where people will come and their thirst will be quenched how many people are you quenching their thirst how many people are you touching their life your brother's son your brother's daughter your brother's house our end shule lakini wewe una drive magari unajenga manyumba unanunua mashamba for what one day you will leave all those but when you touch life it will be counted in front of god and it will give you a room in heaven bana sisi it will give you room in heaven than the mansion that we are building and bringing up every day than the vehicles we are changing today and tomorrow 
All those are vanities of vanities on this world. My brother and my sister, keep yourself in touch with God. Stop fighting God. Stop moving away from God. Life on earth is very short. You will think that you are still alive, but you are dead. You are dead. Ninaema tu ya mungu kuishi siku baada ya nyingine. Wewe ushawahi kuuliza wakati utakuwa umekufa utakuwa wapi? Have you ever asked that question to yourself? Bado. You ought to ask yourself wakati nitakuwa nimelala kama huyu nduku amelala, where shall where will I be? Nitakuwa wapi? Doing what? Naona ya kwamba Living for Christ means developing eternal values and tell others about Christ and touch life. Bring people to joy. Let people feel your presence in the, in the villages, in the families, in your nation. Let people feel your presence because of Christ. Eternal values are love, forgiveness, Generosity, that is what I've been talking about, and we will read a verse from there. Let us open the book of uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 9. Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 9. Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 9. The Bible will tell us what we need to hear from acts of generosity. Generosity. Acts, uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 9. The Bible says, Acts, chapter 3, verse 9. Uh, Ecclesiastes, no, 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 not the man, Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 9. Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 9. Proverbs. Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 9 and 10. In a same kwamba, honor the Lord by giving him you are money and the first part of all your crops. Then you will have more grain and grapes than you will never need. This is the Bible. That mweshimu mungu na mapato yako yote. Mtole mungu dabiu matunda afrai. And you will never lack. Your grains will be full all the time. Your baskets will be full all the time. You are. Hey, Bwana Sifia San. Mutu awe sema, Amen. Kwa sababu haya ni mungu anasema si mimi. Can you say, Amen? Our grains will be full all the time. Can you say, Amen? Bwana Sifia San. If we give to God, we will lack nothing. We will have everything in plenty. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11, chapter 11, Ecclesiastes chapter 11, Anasema Mambo Ifuatayo, we need to read and understand what Wengu Anasema, we throw to Ndumia Hutsa, we throw to Ndumia because this might be the last word for you to hear. Amen? Amen? Hey, let us just hear the word of God in its fullness. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter, Ecclesiastes chapter uh, 11 verse 10. The Bible talks about read yourself of all worry and pain because of, of wonderful moments of youth quickly disappear quickly disappear. You know, as youth to Napenda, Yakwamba, we need to amass and have everything with us, but quickly move away from that, but embrace God in your life. In everything you do, think about God. Embrace God. Fanya mungu afrai. Fanya mungu afrai. Na wewe utafraishwa. 
katika hali zote za maisha tunaona ya kwamba mwanadamu angependa kujifurahisha sana hata kutumia pesa mingi kujifurahisha lakini Mungu anamuacha bure muumba wake amufikirii when god disconnects from you akikuacha it is like a tree that has been disconnected from water and that tree is likely to die when you are disconnected from god you are likely to die and that's why many of us are moving graves hallelujah Many of us are moving graves because vitendo vyetu vimeoza Mungu alituachilia kitambo kwa matendo ambayo tulitenda Mungu alituachilia kitambo tunaoza tunatembea lakini tunaoza tuna uvundo kuna hata watu ambao huwezi kusimama mbele yao kuna watu ambao hata huwezi kuzungumza mbele yao because already God alikuachilia na tayari unaonekana kama kitu bure but somebody who is serving god who is with god all through in his life always when he stands up even in the family watu watasikiza even in the society watu watasikiza hata mahali popote hata kwa barabara ukisimama watu watakuja kuuliza unasema nini bwana asifiwe sana god is always there for us while on earth live for christ For Christ is the gateway to heaven through your deeds what are you doing in your life for him what are you doing for Christ katika maisha yako while alive Paul preached salvation to bring many to God to bring many from death to bring many from from uh, uh, disappearance but he preached the salvation to many and they changed their lives and praised god he planted churches and brought peace in conflicts wherever they arose he wrote to groups and directed encouraged and advised he is really you was really a peace maker i don't know where you are if you are a peace maker in your family in your church in the society that you live in biblia inasema katika matthew chapter 5 verse 8 ya kwamba heri walio na moyo safi watamuona Mungu inatakana uwe na moyo safi so that you can go and make peace uwezi kwenda kwa watu ambao mmetukanana nao na unawaambia ya kwamba tunataka tuwe na amani hapana watu wanastahili kukuona ukiwa mwenyewe una amani mwenyewe una amani una roho safi una matumaini mema unafikiria mema kwa wenzako ndio watakusikiza they will listen to you praise the name of god what are you doing uh, in your free time what are you telling yourself so many of us are busy striving for money properties popularity power prestige and pleasures of this world many of us are striving at our jali wanadonga wengine so that they get that space ya kuonekana ni hao but what does the word of god tells us seek first the kingdom of god and all others will be added bwana asifiwe sana seek first the kingdom of god and all others will be added to you my brother today i would like to challenge you whatever you are struggling for whatever you are striving to get in whichever way you want to get it aijalishi mtu amekufa aijalishi mtu ameumia aijalishi kanisa linaumia kwa sababu yako you want just to pursue your way until you get it look at god what is god telling you 
Mungu anakuambia nini? Mungu anakuambia first of all pokea ufalme wa mbinguni na mambo mengine haya yote utafanya nini? Tangaza. Bwana asifiwe sana. How many of us ambao wanaweza kuachilia kitu chao cha thamani kikiwa kinangananiwa na mtee mwingine amwambia hapana ndugu yangu kama unaona ni vyema chukua none but because of Christ Christ who left his glorious place and came down he is convincing us that let us tuhesabu wengine kuwa bora kuliko hata nafsi hesabu mwenzako kuwa bora hata kuliko wewe Nilisikia mchungaji mwingine akiniambia sorali mpea suit. How many of you are pair kwa mchungaji suit? How many of you have stood with the pastors? Many of you think pastors are bad men. Many of you think pastors are bad people. Many of you think pastors are not good. But pastors are messengers of God ambao wakati tajiri alikuwa anyanyasa Lazaro akiokota vyakula mbinguni mpake alipokufa akienda mbinguni alipata Lazaro akiwa kwa kifua cha nani cha Ibrahim ana, ana politiki naye alipoangalia mahali yuko anapata ako kwa ziwa la moto anaungua tunaona ya kwamba huyo uh, tajiri alisikia ali, ali kiu cha ajabu ambao cha kuwahi sikia When he was on this earth alijiburudisha na maji na vinywaji vya kila namna akakwenji his task himself using his money and he walked brightly in, on this earth akavaa mavazi mazuri aliyopenda akafanya mambo yote aliyofurahia kuonyesha utajiri wake ignoring Lazaro kamutu kadogo ambako kalikuwa kanakuja kuomba kwa mlango yake Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa ni you know. Mimi nilienda nyumbani usiwapende wacha niwaambie. Mimi nilienda huko nyumbani. Ukienda kwa ushago kwa ile ile neighborhood yako. Ukipita kuna vijana wanakaanga hapo kwa mtaa. Vijana wanakuomba, "Eh hey, bwana, nyumburu la Nairobi mbegu mbegu 20." Never ignore those people. Hao watu ndio watakubeba wakuweka Uh, 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 kaburini Hao watu ndio watakwambia siri kubwa yenye inafanyika wewe kama huko Give them the gift they want give them because it is once Na hao watakuwa open kwako watakwambia hata kama unaenda huko nyumbani unajua kuna mambo yamepangwa utafanywa hivi They tell you because they don't associate with those things Hao bora wame wako kwa hiyo mambo yao lakini we pray we pray to them Mungu awaokoe si ndio never ignore anybody in life Lazaro wakati huyu tajiri aliona mambo haya alipasa sauti kwa Lazaro akamwambia nipe maji nikunywe you see now it has turned one day it will turn ya kwamba now you cannot quench yourself let the other person you used to ignore quench you ah my brother My brother, vitu vyote vya dunia ni bure. Yesu ni bwana. Yesu anaweza. Yesu ndiye njia. Yesu ndiye uzima. Yesu ndiye uokovu. Yesu ndiye ushindi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hakuna <laughs> siku tajiri alifikiria atawahi omba Lazaro. Hakuna <laughs> siku Pengine kuna mtu maishani mwako ujawahi fikiria ya kwamba he will or she will be of help to you Lakini huyo mtu atakuja mbeleni huko kwa maisha hapo mbele tu kwa kona kwa kona hapo hapo tu atatokezea na utaanguka kwa my brother help me from this Awin kuna mpaka katikati yetu na nyinyi Kuna nini? 
mpata katikati yetu na nyinyi we don't meet there's no way we can quench your thirst <laughs> then neno lingine anaambiwa ya kwamba anauliza ya kwamba father abraham can you help me go back or send somebody from here aenda wahubirie ndugu zangu ambao wanafanya the same vile mimi mwenyewe nafanya abraham alimwambia kuna musa kuna joshua kuna ambani kuna rexham kuna harrison kuna sande wanahubiri nzuri bwana asifiwe sana listen to them listen to the gospel of god all these things that are keeping us and taking us here and there are vanity of vanities love your god with all your spirit with all your resources and all your mind and you will be sure of inheriting the kingdom of god what will hinder you from inheriting the kingdom of god that one is the one that you, you ought to get rid of so that your way is unguke your way you get connected with jesus christ you get connected with jesus christ the source the gateway to heaven may god bless you ambia jirani wow the gospel is coming up very powerful and it's very unfortunate that some of us have already left thank you servant of god may god increase you may god bless you so much blessed be the name blessed be the name blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name Bless his family, my father. Give him divine protection, 
oh Lord, as even he leaves the altar. Thank you for the beliefs, my father. You have already spoken their heart. Thank you for the hearers of the gospel. We are now taking it by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. My father and my God, we lay our pride down and we humble that you may take up our lives, my father, as we think about the kingdom of heaven. We give you glory, Lord, and we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Patia Yesu Makofi Jaman. Asande, Asande, for the last 50 minutes, God has been speaking to us, and we thank and appreciate him for uh, his wonderful message. Uh, yesu, katika hali kama hii alikuwa nasema wale waliko na masikio wa? Wale waliko na masikio wa si? Asande. So, na maliza hivi. Uh, nataka tupate wimbo uh, kutoka kwa kwaya yetu. Uh, hakati hiwa naimba, tutakuwa tukitoa sadaka. Because kuabudu hakukamiliki uh, kabila tumitole mungu sadaka. Sindio? Bale za sifiwe, mekua kwa ibada takatifu, so tutakuwa tukitoa sadaka. Na tukumbuke jamihi. Najua wamefanya yale wamefanya na bado wanahitaji kufanya mengine mengi. Unapotoa hutolei sisi wachungaji. Watu utoa wakifikiria hii ni ya wale wachungaji hapana. Kwa matanga kama hii utatoa ile itatolewa hapa tutafunga kwa kitambaa tutawapatia. Hata kuweza bado kwa hesabu. God has taken care of us and is going to take care of us. Bado za sifiri. So tutapata wimbo. Hebu mkatuimbie kwaya. Karibu sana. Nimependa sana kuimba kweli. Mwelekeo wa sadaka, hiko diko nzapa, mpaka mimi nifani. There are ushers, we didn't have any ushers. Program inakoza ushers. He come and guide us. Hmm? We, JJ come. JJ come. Watu wanaangalia na hiyo.
kuna wapendwa wangependa waashirike matoleo yao kupitia kwa Mpesa ya mama na nimeuliza mpewe ili mfanye hivyo uh, please my brother come and announce it to them ukiwa na kitu huko toa unangojea hiyo fika hiyo namba asante mtendaji namba ya Mpesa ya kutuma um, ni 0722 Kwa wale wameuliza hiyo basi msaidike hapo. Asante, tunataka twende mbio sababu wakati wetu umeenda. Nataka nimkaribishe mtumishi wa Mungu apate kubariki uh, matoleo haya alafu Mabebao matakatifu kiongozwa na Zakia Mama Linet Kwaya Wote waliofika all protocol observed bwana asifiwe Acha tuombee matoleo tusimame Baba katika jina la Yesu tunakushukuru tunakuinua kwa umbali huu tumefika wacha uitwe Mungu. Nimekuwa nasi katika mipango hii tangu ndugu wetu Sami aweze kukuja kwako Bwana. Naona ukitupangia na imefika pia wakati ibada hii yake inaendelea katika kanisa hili. Nashukuru kwa mipango yote. Baba hata wanao wameweza kutoa sadaka, mifuko iliyotoa wacha ikapate kubarikiwa. Hata kazi ya ambayo itakayotenda wacha sifa na utukufu zikaweze kukurejelea. Ni asante kwa maana we ni Mungu ambaye unayotupia moyo wakati tunapokuwa wanyonge. Asante kwa yote hata uzidi kumpa mama he, uh, nguvu za kuweza kustahimili haya yote. Natujia kwamba siku moja katika ufufuo wako wa roho tutaweza kupatana na ndugu wetu sami. Manake mengi aliyotenda mazuri wacha ikaweze kuambatana pamoja naye. Asante kwa maana wewe ni Mungu utazidi kututia nguvu yale sijayotaja utazidi kutujibu kwa njia yako ya siri. Na ni katika jina la Yesu aliye mkombozi wetu nimeomba na hata kuamini. Amen. Barikiwe. Ndio tunaona hapo tunaenda tukafika ufungoni. Kuna sehemu ya matangazo hapa nijiandae na matangazo. Matangazo kutoka kwa jamii, matangazo kutoka kwa a, kwa kanisa na mwingine e, lingine lolote likiwako hata kwa area. Lakini kabla ya hapo nataka niwajulishe wale ambao wametenda kazi siku ya leo ambao wako hapa madabahuni watumishi wa Mungu na nitamkaribisha sekretari tuongoze katika hiyo sekretari wa area ya Kalorini sana uh, jamii wapendwa marafiki na wote Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena asante nichukue nafasi kwa uvumilivu wenu Uh, kwanza kabisa sisi kama area ya Nairobi, I mean ya area Kaloleni kwa sababu ya kutambua kazi ya mpendo wa Sami ndio sababu mnaona ibada yake imekaa hivi, tumamua na overseer na sisi. Nichukue nafasi kwa introduce wachungaji wote ambao mumefika na mko pande ile tafadhali msimame, watu wakaone ya kwamba hakika tulikuwa natambua kazi ya, mam, ya ndugu Sami. Simameni muwevu Asante sana wachungaji kwa sababu ya sasa sita introduce najua hapo kuna departmental head asante so kuanzia pande hii pale kuna mchungaji wa Kitengela ambaye ni Reverend Florence Wanjara huyo ndio sio sisi ni pastor Kitengela asante najua kuna associate wake ako mahali ako hao ndio wachungaji wa kanisa la Osore pande hiyo kuna mchungaji kutoka kanisa letu la Dandora Church of God uh, Reverend Job Osome 
Anafuatwa na district chairman wa Kayole mahali ambapo kitengela liko Reverend Rai Maskobe. Anafuata na naibu wa secretary wa area akiwa pia naibu wa mwenyekiti wa Ruiru district Reverend John Wekesa. Anafuatwa pande hii na Reverend Janet Opati mchungaji wetu kutoka Tika Church of God. Anafuatwa na Reverend Michael Amaya mchungaji wetu wa Umoja Church of God senior pastor. Uh, pale pia tuko na treasurer wetu wa area Reverend Harrison Akolo akiwa pia ni mchungaji wa Ruaraka Church of God. Anafuatwa na district chairman wa Kaloleni district ambaye ndiyo inatu host mahali hii kabisa inapatikana Reverend Amos Omulema. Asante nikiwa kama uh, area secretary pia niko na mwenzangu ambao tunafanya na yeye we send mpaka kwa uh, a cluster na pia kuna mwenzangu ambaye ametoka Mariakani area ni mkaribishe aweze kusalamia Waombolezaji wote na wajiafiwa mchungaji wenzangu na watalimu katika jina la Yesu mjambo Kwa majina naitwa mchungaji Link Kisa kwa matekwa na mchungaji Olympic Church of God nikiwa area secretary wa Mariakani area karibuni podeni Sante baada ya Mariakana Kaloleni pia tuko na cluster eh ni vice uh, secretary wa cluster. Kwa hivyo nilipokuwa nikiintroduce uh, mchungaji mpendaji wa Jogoro Road alikuwa pia ametoka asimame awe. Anaitwa Reverend Lydia Sikobe. Uh, mama area, mama wetu area, mama area tafadhali simama uwe, mama Janet Mahuka. Asante. Mimi ni Reverend Charles Sande nikiwa mchungaji wa Jogoro Church of God na Kaloleni Area Secretary wale wamesalia yule aliyekuwa akihubiri hapa ndiye Vice Overseer wetu wa Kaloleni Area Reverend uh, Joseph Ambani akiwa mchungaji wa Ifili atanisaidia mahali ambapo nimefika Bwana Apostle Sisa Ah uh, mahali tumefika ni kumuindodius wabasia wetu mpendwa mbaya ni mlinzi na baba wa imani hapa Loleni area uh, pamoja na mkewe ambao wamekuja kugrace this uh, ceremony ya kwamba wamefanya vizuri sana na tukampiga jukumu la kuwa mwenyekiti na ana baba wabasia umejikasa Uh, na siku tunashukuru sana umefanya vizuri sana in fact tunastahili kukupongeza kabisa umefanya kazi nzuri so uh, obasia wetu anaitwa Reverend Rexam Ambuvi Mkulu akiwa uh, pamoja na mama uh, watakuja hapa asalamie eh uh, kwamba mnaanza kuwakaribisha kwa makofi asante Madhibao ya siku ya leo kwa ya Yesu nzuri sana jamii ya mwenda zake bwana Samuel Sore na kanisa kwa jumla ni asalimie bwana Yesu asifiwe hamjamboni mama Line pamoja na jamii tuseme tu pole pole sana Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu hata waacha tasimama pamoja nanyi naitwa Caroline Ambubi asanteni sana Mungu awabariki jamii ambao wanaomboleza ni wasalimie tena mjambo na mjambo e, jina ni kama vile vice overseer alitaja Mungu wa neema awe nami maliza uh, so uh, nataka matangazo matangazo najua mmejipanga nimewapa nafasi jamii karibu sana ndugu attack leadership uh, the blue family and uh, congregation hamjamboni bwana yesu atishie 
kwa majina naitwa Pastor Edgar uh, na hali matangazo on behalf of the family so tukitoka hapa uh, mwili taelekea nyumbani uh, kitengela alafu itakaa masaa machache kisha mwili tarudishwa uh, umas uh, funeral home uh, for preparation uh, kesho uh, familia uh, watasafiri kwenda nyumbani uh, close family uh, members on Thursday alafu um, on a Friday pamoja asubuhi uh, wale watakuwa wamepata wa, notification ni wengi walitaka kusafiri kwenda nyumbani so ili, wa, watu walisema kubook ni elfu moja ni wengi sana walituma na asanteni sana but uh, wale walituma wa kwanza wa, ndio walipata notification so how uh, ndio watapatiwa nafasi ya kwanza kusindikiza uh, mzee nyumbani so kama hujapata notification tafadhali um, unaweza weka mipango ingine kama ungetaka kwenda na sisi hadi nyumbani um, cha moja asubuhi mtaelezewa um, mahali tutakutana uh, pale town na kwa wale watakuwa naendesha uh, magari uh, wacha ni uh, nene maeneo matatu ama maeneo mawili uh, kutoka Busia uh, utatumia uh, ruti ya ebu yangu uende Mulwanda kumsalaba uh, kumailo alafu kifika Manyuria utauliza uh, boma na utaelekezwa na kama umetoka maeneo ya Kakamega utatumia ruti ya Ekero Sabatia Butere Emabore pale kwa former governor uh, bwana mheshimiwa weekly for paranya alafu manyuria ukifika pale manyuria utauliza boma na utaelekezwa asante sana na asante kanisa asante Bwana asifiwe. Ni kanisa la kitengela. Kwa niaba ya kitengela cha cho God. Ninawashukuru nyinyi wote kwa ajili ya kusimama nasi. Haikuwa jambo rahisi. Lakini kwa uwezo wake Mwenyezi Mungu naona hakika Mungu ametupatia neema na kibali. Ah, uh, wala atakao safiri wa kitengela cha cho God naomba tukutane kule nyumbani kwa mzee usore so pia ninawaomba msikaweze kwenda manyumbani mwenu pia tumsindikishe ndugu yetu mpaka kwa mboma lake hiyo ni tangazo kwa washiriki wa kitengela naomba tusindikishe baba wetu mpaka kwa mboma lake kitengela na kika mtakuwa mnanyisha heshima yenu la mwisho la mwisho naomba wachungaji wote tabaki nyuma kuna kikombe cha chai na wale wengine pia takasafiri kule kitengela pia nawakaribisha mjisikie mko huru ndani ya Kristo asante sande wewe Margaret Mnala uh, kwa ajili ya ujumbe huu now we are all we are human beings and always make mistakes my brother tells me ame sahau jambo muhimu sana na nimeona la muhimu ningependa watoe vote of thanks i can't uh, let them out come sababu hata yesu alisema walikuwa watu kumi mmoja ndiye peke yake aliruja kafanya nini haya shukrani ni ya muhimu Asante sana bwana Sifiwe. Ya yeah, start leadership and marafiki na familia. Nimesimama hapa kama mmoja wa familia kupeana vote of thanks na najua labda kwa njia moja ama nyingine tuko wengi wengi wametusaidia. Nikisahau kwa sio kwa sio kwa sababu ya kupenda lakini tuko wengi. So kitu cha kwanza ni kushukuru kanisa Church of God wote wametusikilia tangu tangu hata eh, tuwe na njia ya hospitali mpaka alipo tuacha na mpaka dakika hii so ninawashukuru sana na hatuichukui we don't take it for granted um 
ningependa pia ku uh, recognize uh, marafiki wale wako hapa uh, najua pia tuko na honorable justice wa Kubasi nimekuwa pia na sisi kesho ameso nimekuwa na sisi kikundi cha mkumu gao keep it that way tangu mpate neno mmekuwa nyumbani in pan mpaka dakika hii na mmesimama na my sister in law um, najua marafiki ni wengi siwezi kutaja kwa majina lakini nyote nyote na washukuru sana kwa kuweza kusaidia na kusoma na sisi kifedha kiroho na kwa njia nyingine yoyote ambayo mmeweza kuna wale wametoa usaidizi tofauti tofauti na kama sio hiyo hatungelikuwa hivi tulikuwa tumezungika moyo sana so i'd like to uh, extend the same thanks to all of our friends and then of course the rest of our family members i uh, keep strong and uh, it's all well in faith we believe and all shall be well asana Sunday daktari Sunday sana Sasa ni bagi na vitu kitu kimoja na maombi ya kufunga ibada alafu nipeane nafasi kwa lead of the procession team aje atupange ili watoe mwili nje ila atatuelekeza tuende tu utazame kwa heshima yetu ya mwisho na leo ambaye ataomba atachukua takuo hili sasa mimi nataka niseme hivi wakati mimi nafunga eh sitarudi hapa niseme hivi then i heard a voice from heaven say write this blessed are the dead who die in the lord from now on yes says the spirit they will rest from their labor for their deeds we will follow them ndugu sore tulikaa na wewe tulikula na wewe tuliabudu na wewe tulipenda kazi pamoja ya Mungu pamoja na wewe tulipenda mambo mengi na wewe na wakati huu Mungu ametenda Mungu ambaye tulimtumikia uende mikononi mwake umetutangulia nasema uende na amani uende na amani amani ya Kristo amani kwa jamii amani kwa wote Mubarikiwe. Ndugu Osome come and pray. Reverend Osome mchungaji wa Dandora Church of God. Tasimama sisi wote kwa maombi. Ndio olwembo mu moyo. Yesu yambola gabu. Ora ria isendi nawe. Mukosi yake sanga. Yes, yes.
kuanzia hapa baba na kuelekea kule kitengera kutoka kule kitengera kurudi moja na kurudi kutoka moja kuelekea kule western utasimama pamoja na baba wewe utakuwa kwa njia wakati kitembea baba utakuwa mbele yao baba utawafuata nyuma na familia yote ambayo imewachwa naweka katika mkononi mwako waacha mkono wako mtakatifu wafunike ibada zingine zao zinatahajia kule nyumbani na katika katika mkononi mwako waacha na neema yako ionekane na ni kwa jina takatifu la mkombo wa Yesu Kristo ninaomba wakati huu ni wakati wa kusema pia asante na kwa kuvumilia paka wakati huu mwenye pia naitwa kwa haya asante kwa kutoe kwa msafara huu pia tuende tumalizie watatufata mwili utafata waliofiwa wafate na kwa haya ifate na tuimbe kwa utaratibu na tufike nje na tutaona mwili tukishafika pale nje na si vizuri mtoke mtu atoke mbele ya mzafara yule ulifumilia wacha tufumilie hivyo kufika tamati Mungu awabariki sana kwaya mtaanza kuimba tukichipanga maua yatatolewa na tutaomba wale ndugu tuliosaidia kufariki kwangu umefika nimepika vita vilivyo vizuri mwendo nimeumaliza imani nimeilinda baada ya hayo nimewekewa taji ya haki ambayo bwana mhukumu wa haki atanipea siku siku ile 
wala si mimi tu bali na watu wote pia waliopenda kufunuliwa naye baba mtakatifu watakatifu ni wakati umwema ambapo baba tunamalizia kipindi hiki cha kutoa heshima ya yetu kwa ndugu wetu ambaye huwa tunaishi naye sami uzore na imefika wakati tena kurutisha mwili wake nje kwa shughuli zingine ongoza wote watakaofanya kazi hii katika mwili huu na ni katika jina Yesu ndiye mkombozi wetu kwa haya Thank you. 